the president and members of the respective youth clubs members of the media ladies gentlemen brothers and sisters bulavina ka a very good day to you all in august during our 2021 international youth day we had announced the tiktok poetry competition which was open to all of our registered youth clubs. Today, two months later, it gives me great pleasure to announce the winners of this very competition. The competition has enabled young people to use their mobile phones to produce short TikTok videos. These videos were produced following the theme of Youth Innovation for Human Health. The theme highlights that the success of such a global effort will not be achieved without the meaningful participation of our young people. It also highlights the global vision and part of Fiji's 5 and 20 year national development plan to improve food security. The ministry's TikTok competition received submissions from all four divisions. And here I would like to thank all those youth clubs who participated in this competition. Now it gives me great pleasure to announce the winner. First place was Kakala Warrior Youth Club. Who is the president members here? <laughs> president of the club? Okay. They will receive $1,000 worth of farming tools and equipment with mobile phone. Second prize, Karambula Youth Club, with second prize of $700 worth of farming materials and mobile phone. These two clubs, youth clubs, are from Nendi. So can we have another round of applause for the youth of Nandi? And the third winner for this competition is from North. And they will receive $500 worth of farming materials, including a mobile phone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, through the TikTok competition, we want to keep the theme alive. The competition became an avenue to encourage the youth to utilize their creativity in an innovative and productive manner. Whilst the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted the global and national economy, in our daily lives, at the same time, it has also become a driver of creativity and innovation. We have seen the creativity in the submissions received. I am told the videos stretch from topics in COVID-19, food security, loving local food supplies, backyard gardening, fitness and health. I'm heartened by the approach and efforts of all participants who put together ideas to create their masterpiece with a message. At this juncture, I wish to reiterate the importance of continuity in providing a platform to our youths to sharpen 
their talent, knowledge, and innovation, as this would encourage and strengthen their development. Ladies, gentlemen, brothers, and sisters, government is empowering young Fijians with skills and expertise, not only through this competition, but also through opportunities such as the Youth Farm Initiative Program. Let's utilize the Talanoa concept, championed by our Honorable Prime Minister, and discuss ways and means to improve our current progress and partnership going forward. Dear youths, as young people, I urge you all to remain focused on the positive side of life. You may not all be rewarded today, but be rest assured that your good deeds and the services to yourself, your association, and your communities are not in vain. We are all winners in our own ways. And today, let us also celebrate the overall winners of the competition. Despite the challenging times the world is going through, we must continue to give our young an avenue to advocate and express their creativity. At this juncture, ladies, gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I would like to state that this competition has been a collective effort of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, BSP Life and Vodafone. I wish to once again congratulate all our winners and wish them the very best in future. Minaka and thank you.